It's that time of the year again, you guys. Oh, time to buy new underpants. Is it my birthday? No, it's when the new FIFA game comes out. It's time to score some goals. Woo! Woo! Sport. Pedro hits Morata. Morata. And the celebrations reflect that. And here's the shot. The, the Qatarian. Take another look at the goal. Rashford. Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Really is. Perfect timing. Has to score. And they managed to score here. FIFA 18 is the latest instalment in the long-running soccer sim series from EA Sports, and it is jam-packed with things to do for fans of the world game. Yes, if you love watching soccer, especially the English Premier League, then you'll really enjoy how authentic the FIFA experience is, with all of its officially licensed teams and TV-style presentation. It's always top-notch. And guys, young soccer superstar Alex Hunter is back to continue his journey in the game story mode. Hunter was introduced last year as a playable character looking for soccer stardom, and it's here that you get to experience all the drama that takes place both on and off the pitch. Another striker. We think it's time you went now on long. You know, I really like the journey mode. It gives you something to fight for when you're playing a game because you've got Hunter's career on the line. And this year, he's faced with possibly getting signed to one of the biggest clubs in the world, Real Madrid. They even got Cristiano Ronaldo in the game. See. Yeah, those cameos are cheesy, but they are also fun. And guys, after FIFA 17, I was surprised you don't begin your career playing for England because that's where the story finished up last year. Yeah, that's never really explained. Instead, you have to go play in the American MLS and prove yourself again. Yeah, I saw your little showcase, but can you do it when it counts? But I do like that you can customize Hunter a bit now, from haircuts to daggy clothes. Stylin'. I do think that EA need to work harder on their dialogue scenes, though. They just don't seem to make enough of an obvious difference to the story. It's been amazing, yeah. Dream come true. But I can hardly believe I'm sitting here talking to you about it. But when it comes to action on the field, FIFA 18 is bursting with life. This is a goal-a-thon. Goal! Go 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 on, son. Yes! He's got it in! Back of the net. He made that look easy. Nothing but net! Oh. It is true that FIFA 18 appears to put more emphasis on the attacking game, making it a bit easier to skip past defenders and score than in FIFA 17. Yeah, and passing the ball around definitely feels nice and crisp. But I still don't think defending should feel this clumsy. Morata! Here's a chance to goalkeeper while they broke it through. Switching to classic controls and pressing with multiple players still works better to regain possession even if it is a bit messy and kind of stuffed up your formations. Yeah, and if you get a bit too eager and you're going for a daring slide tackle, you might even get carded. But I still find the referees a little bit lenient. In this attack, can finish it off. That's when you need a defender to show his class. The player collisions can still sometimes look a little wacky, and the game purposefully ignores those, I think. Hey, ref, what's the deal, mate? One of FIFA's most popular modes is back again, of course. FIFA Ultimate Team, or foot, as we like to call it. This is the game's fantasy football style of mode, where you can build a team out of players from anywhere in the world. And of course, opening those player packs is always exciting. Who's it going to be? <laughs> I couldn't really tell if anything was different about this mode in FIFA 18, because to be honest, it kind of felt the same as last year. And you could actually say that about the entire game in many ways. Nothing's been majorly overhauled. There are just lots of little fixes here and there. Maybe a nice new menu or two. Oh, but in career mode, you have to negotiate player transfers in a weird cutscene now. I like that they tried to make this more dramatic, but it just slows down the whole process. People do not talk this slowly. Skip! I actually like this, Bajo, because if you're gonna simulate what it's like to be an actual manager of a football team, then why not cut out all the boring menus? Another thing that surprised me, guys, is that there's no World Cup mode in this release of FIFA, and I have a suspicion that's because they plan to release a World Cup edition next year when the World Cup is actually on. Oh, that would be so unfair. But you can at least play as the Matildas in the International Women's Cup, and they are the best women's team in the world at the moment. Mm. Uh, we should also mention that the Nintendo Switch version of FIFA 18 is slightly different to the other console versions. Uh, because it runs on a completely different game engine, the Journey Story mode is not included. Now the shot, and he's taken the jump. Also, there are some cosmetic differences. It's a little disappointing for Switch fans, but at the same time, it is the best version of FIFA on a handheld. What a fine save. 
Final thoughts? Well, overall, I think this is a really solid installment for FIFA. And if you love your socket, you can't go wrong. So I'm giving it four out of five. I agree, Goose. There's not much here to grumble about. FIFA 18 is so much fun and it's great in multiplayer. I'm going to give it four and a half rubber chickens. I think they should have done much more with the journey mode this year, but it is a great soccer sim. So I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens.